Hey guys, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. Let's go shoot some fish in a barrel. Now, this mission is not quite as simple as they make it out to be. Basically, we just have to destroy all the enemy units, and there are lots of them. Luckily, we've got some pretty big boys ourselves, so let's go hunting. Right, let's get you guys loaded into there. Let's have a little walk up here first. Now, I haven't actually tested this mission, so... Spoiler. Let's get these guys da back behind our armor. Let's go hunt. See if we can wake any of them up. See if we can't draw any... Ah, we have enemy artillery. You know what eats artillery for breakfast? Anything, really? As long as it can get there. Especially that guy. Uh, let's get our men to pull back. We want our rockets to pull back as well. Now, I don't know if they have any infantry on this level. I haven't actually tested this one because it's such a short mission. Let's go see if we can antagonize anything. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, fuck my ass and call me Charlie. Let's send these boys in. What's up, boys? You're about to get wrecked. Yeah, the artillery basically does nothing against our mammoth. Which is good. Now, don't let these opening engagements fool you. This mission can be tricky. Oh, fuck. A little bit something like that. I was not expecting them. You know what? They can go into my hammers. Let's get our artillery set up up here. Hopefully they can provide some measure of overwatch. So we don't want to lose these, because as we've seen, artillery is very, very weak. But, if used and positioned correctly, it can be incredibly potent. Using it correctly, on the other hand, is not always obvious. If you haven't played the levels. Alright, so let's get everyone to group in here. What have we got? We're going to use keep these guys as our scouts. Oh, hell. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's quite useful. Uh oh, come on, boys. Get in there! This is not going fantastically. Oh, my. That definitely could have gone better. Let's not bullshit ourselves there. That was not good. That's why you play test the missions first, folks. But we've got enough hardware, I think. Well, we're going to find out one way or another. Stealth tanks are a bit of an issue. Because although they're incredibly weak and squishy, they can uh, sneak up on you and their their rockets are devastating. I can't remember how good they are actually against infantry. But against... Oh, hell. But against tanks, they are freaking devastating. As you've just seen. And you can't detect them either until they decloak. And there's a sneaky little bastard again. Stealth tanks as well. They're another unit that gets massively improved uh, later on in the series. They actually become quite a threat, even though they're, they're always weak. But if we're not... If we're not careful here, we might lose this, you know. 
Which would be awkward. Okay, right you bastards, where are you hiding? Hmm. I guess they're hiding here. Alright, regroup. Come on guys, uh, seriously, you can't work out that? Honestly. Alright, pull everyone back to the center. Just make sure there's nothing hiding in any of these corners. Because it can happen, and it does happen. Check these corners as well, and I don't like the look of this. It's possible there's something hidden here. Not likely, but possible. It's definitely possible there's something here. Nightmare would actually be stealth tanks. There's such a kick-ass soundtrack as well. Right, we're clear. This M1 is about to be roasted. They could have artillery here. Flame tank would not be good. But luckily, we've got our mammoth, and they're going to have to go some to take that sucker down. I'm actually glad they ditched the Tiberian Sun Mammoth too, And they went back to actual mammoth tanks in the later games, which is good. Oh. Oh. Well, that was, that was awkward. Infantry go squish, apparently. Let's wait for everyone to regroup. Maximize that firepower. Oh. Hey, buddy. Where you hiding, my pedigree chum? Mammoth, roll forward. Ah, there we go. That was a very easy mission. That's going to be like an eight minute upload. But unfortunately, it is what it is. We lost a lot of units there. We could have done that so much better. But it doesn't matter. Right. So, on to the final mission of GDI. And this mission can be a little bit of a bastard. It can be. Oh. Okay. You can't see what's going on. But... Luckily, I can still see it in my second monitor. I think a cat... Yeah, a cat is on a remote control. Can I have my main screen back, please? Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Right, we've got options here. <sighs> Can't really remember, to be honest. So, let's go from the bottom. Bosnia. Mm -hmm. You're not looking so good there, Chief. Gaines Temple and Base of Operations. Mm-hmm. This field operative's covert transmission came to us live just five minutes ago. So there's no doubt that Kane's inside. He surrounded himself with his own crack militia. Getting to him won't be easy. <laughs> he just carries on filming. Link severed. Ironic, isn't it? Kane's planted his temple just outside of Sarajevo. If that sounds familiar, it's because that's where another madman started World War One. Here we are, trying to stop this madman from doing it again. Mm-hmm. Commander, there is to be no quarter given. No leniency in dealing with Cain and his zealots. Wipe his temple off the face of the earth. You got it, boss. Destroy the bastard. <laughs> we can't endeavor to try. Or prepare to die. Oh, I see. Yeah, I have to prepare to die trying. You're going to sit on your ass and do fuck all. Right, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to be on the final mission for GDI. And this one is a little bit of a bastard, if I remember. But I'm pretty confident I can come up with a strategy. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, until next time.